So in the previous blended space, we talked briefly about cast determination in drones. So there's two terms that I want to use, haploid and diploid. You can see haploid is one and dye and diploid is two. So as we talked before, the queen would have normally lay an unfertilized egg to make a drone. This is called haploid sets of chromosomes. Sometimes it's diploid or two sets of chromosomes, which is abnormal, which is really, really rare, but abnormal. So let's work through this. So this should happen. So one theory is, and as you know, drones cell size is larger. The cell is physically bigger. So the queen somehow misunderstands and puts a drone egg, a fertilized egg into the drones size cell. That's one theory, but that's probably not as likely. More likely is this is a sign of inbreeding. Um, I can tell you that they have less hamuli, which is the attachment of the wings, and also less vitiligonin, which is a hormone we're going to talk to about in hormones, which is in a couple in a couple classes. So this is humans, and I'm, and I'm sure you know this already. Humans have a mom and a dad. And you get one set of chromosomes from your mom and one set of chromosomes from your dad. So a queen and a drone, you have one set of chromosomes from the queen, one set of chromosomes from the drones, because she mates with multiple drones, and those two sets of chromosomes make a worker when she lets the sperm down. But what happens if she mates, that queen mates with a drone who's the same as her? Because remember I explained to you drones are genetic copies of the queen? What happens if that queen mates with a drone that's hers? So she would mate with her brother. It's icky, I know. So she would be letting sperm down, thinking that she was going to lay a worker. But in fact, when she lets that sperm down, it's really her, her own genetic self. So you would get a queen and a germ, but again, one in one. So I thought this was the best way to explain a diploid versus haploid.